For years, Iceland has held a special fascination for me with its unique history, culture, and of course, its amazing natural beauty. And recently, as I've learned about the small but growing craft brew scene in the country, I decided to finally make the trip. Which for me, I just had to start by looking at what you can see in the northernmost capital city in the world, Reykjavik. Now don't worry, we'll get to all that natural beauty in the next video, but I figure for this one, whether you're in Iceland for a longer trip or just a layover, this city is a great intro to the country. So let's start where I'd say most tourists in the city will end up at some point, and that's Ostrovoller Park, which basically is the central square for the city with some great restaurants, bars, cafes, and of course, Iceland's parliament, sitting in a beautiful stone building, which is quite the rarity in the country. But hey, we have more to see, and for nearly everyone, that means heading to the city's cathedral, which is a pretty short walk from here, but if you need a little pick-me-up for the journey, I'd suggest a quick stop around the corner at the Corneth Bakery, which is a delicious little bakery slash cafe with some pretty good coffee and delicious pastries at a pretty reasonable price, which can be occasionally hard to find here in Iceland. After that recharge, you'll want to head across the street and down Bankastrati Road, which soon turns into Lagavager. And this here is pretty much the main commercial drag for the city, full of some really great shops, restaurants, coffee houses, and of course bars. All of which will probably keep you pretty entertained for a while, though admittedly some of the shops are touristy, it's still a really fun time. I mean, come on, look at those cuddly bears outside this one. When you get bored of all the shopping, you'll eventually want to head south down one of the many roads that will inevitably lead you to Halgrim Skirkia. And I don't care how touristy this church can be, it is a must see for one reason the Bell Tower. It is worth the price of admission and any weight up that elevator to head up and get the best view of the city possible. It is just Gorgeous. And once you're done marveling at the city view, well, it's probably been a few hours since that bakery stop, and if you're in the mood for some traditional Icelandic food, I would really suggest heading just across the street to Cafe Loki. This place has some delicious food, as well as a small selection of Icelandic beers. It's really a great place to stop and reflect about your trip so far and enjoy some tasty treats. All in all, this should make for a fun, if albeit touristy day for anyone visiting this great little city. But if you're like me and looking to explore, well, then you might want to start back at Ostrovoller Park, but this time head north. And just a few steps away, you'll find yourself in Ingolfstorg Park, which is a lovely little square with some really great places to eat and drink. But for me, the best place in this area is just off of that square at Microbar. This is a pretty cool little place in the basement of restaurant Reykjavik that serves up craft beers from all around Iceland. Now it is pretty heavily weighted towards beers from Gothinger, as it is their tap house, but you can find great brews from around the country and of course, try any number of them in one of their beer flights. And 
after you've had a drink, you just keep heading north till you hit the Colaportith Flea Market, which, as I see it, is another one of the must-see parts of the city. You can find everything here from clothes to books and, of course, other touristy tat, but for me, it's the food market that makes this place. There is some of the best local bread and meat you can find in the city, and at great prices, as after all, this is where a lot of locals in the city come to shop. And best of all, you can pretty much try anything here before you buy, and that makes it all the much better. So once you've stocked up on some food, you just need to head across the street to find my absolute favorite area of the city, the Old Harbor. Now most people end up here on their trips as cruises and ocean tours all leave from this place, but surprisingly, they don't seem to stick around for all the great businesses that have been building up here over the years. To me, that's just a bit sad, as if you want a nice, unique coffee, there's Cafe Haiti here, which may seem a bit out of place in Iceland, but hey, who doesn't love a little taste of Haiti? Besides that, there's also Reykjavik Roast, which is another good place for coffee, but more importantly for me, a great place for a sandwich. They're delicious, and I mean, come on, they make them into heart shapes, and how can you not love that? And not just food, there are also some great museums in the area, like the Maritime Museum, which is my favorite in the city, as they have a load of fun information and some cool interactive displays. And considering how important the sea is to Iceland, I think it's a must visit to see what they've done with it. Plus, it certainly helps that the museum is next to the first combination brewery and bistro in the city, Bregjan Brewhaus, which has some great food, delicious beers, and if the weather's nice, some great outdoor seating with views of the harbor. And to top it all off, if you're a bit of a geek like me, they're just below the CCP game offices and by the Eve Monument. But they aren't the only brewery in the area, as just down the harbor is Agisgarther, which is a for-hire brewery making batches for multiple brands in Iceland, but they do also have their own delicious beers as well. Though if you plan to visit, they are currently by appointment only, but they do hope to open to the general public in the fall of 2018. And if that wasn't enough, just behind their building is an amazing chocolate company by the name of Um Num Chocolate. They have a pretty impressive line of treats with my personal favorite here being the burnt barley chocolate. It's strange, but delicious, and to me, appropriately Icelandic. this is frankly just a taste of what there is to do in the Old Harbor area. And to make things better, that section of the city just keeps growing, changing, and getting better and better by the day. Now I could end things right here and be satisfied that I showed you some of the best in Reykjavik, but I would be remiss not to mention one more shining star in the city, and that's Eimverk Distillery. It's on the southern outskirts of Reykjavik and is the country's first whiskey distillery, and oh my, do they make some good and unique whiskey, as well as a selection of other spirits such as traditional Icelandic Brennivin. It's a bit out of the way, but if you can get there, it is certainly worth it. So that, for me at least, is Reykjavik. 
a beautiful, fun city with delicious food and a growing craft beer scene that's doing some truly great things. If you get the chance, it's one of those places you need to go visit, even if only for a day layover on your way to Europe. It's just worth it. So get out there and explore, my friends. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you on our next adventure.